Hello, and welcome back to my podcast, where today I will be discussing the book Outliers, written by Malcolm Gladwell. So amongst the many themes in this book, I'd like to discuss a couple of themes that really resonated with me, um, which constitute success and failure, um, the ideas of talent, opportunity, work, and luck. Um, All ideas that play major roles in, I think, everybody's day-to-day lives, and sort of contextualizing these phenomena in a way that explains um, how they come about can really help, um, you know, us as humans hone in on in these factors to really see these results play, you know, a major role in our lives. So um, in terms of success and failure, Gladwell discusses um, a variety of factors that makes something or someone a success or a failure. Um, This complicated mix of factors requires taking a closer look at why certain people and even entire groups of people thrive while others fail. And this can be, you know, a variety of factors um, that really tend to rely on opportunity and how one individual's opportunity might be constructed differently than another's, um, you know, given their particular privileges or, you know, even such factors as their physical ability, mental capability, or even geographic location in terms of where that they live. One example he used was of um, youth Canadian hockey players that have a cutoff in the beginning of the year so that um, students or not students, but hockey players that um, make that cutoff would be older and more developed. Um, and that plays out, you know, statistically, you can see how old in the uh, NHL, a lot of hockey players, professional hockey players have birthdays in and around January. So, um, you know, factors like that are such that, you know, can enable one's success um, purely by chance. Um, another, another important, um, you know, theme about this is the idea of being man-made. And, um, but what does that mean? You know, Gladwell argues that no one is made by essentially one man rather than a compilation of their situations and the people who they surround themselves with and the opportunities that they take. Um, it's important to discuss also um, how talent plays a large factor in this as well. And while talent is a important factor, it's not the be all end all. You know, athletic professionals are considered prodigies or all stars. Um, and you know, you talk about businessmen being particularly savvy and motivated, but um, you know, these characteristics are developed and built and shaped by an individual's surrounding and environment. Um, and that's a really important um, thing to take into consideration when um, you know, reading this book and in life in general. Um, so another uh, topic that I'd like to discuss in the book is the idea of opportunity and work and luck in general. Those three different, um, those three different individual constructs that we see play a role in our everyday life. Um, you know, we get up and go to work as students. We work towards our degree. Um, you know, we have all of these you know, aspirations and um, none of these aspirations would be possible without opportunity and truthfully a little bit of luck as well. Um, you know, we look at, um, you know, the surrounding context of available opportunity as being so crucial. Um, in the book, they use an example of Bill Gates would have never been successful without the access to the technology that he used um, to compute and to kind of form the software that has made him into one of the richest men in history. Um, and had he not had that opportunity, who knows, he probably would have been just another, um, you know, smart guy. Um, and I think another important aspect um, in all three of these contexts, work, opportunity, and luck, 
is about timing and context. Um, I, I, my dad has always told me that, you know, in time, we will get the things that we want. And if the timing's right, then those things will come. And Gladwell really discusses how the timing of particular situations can play a majorly impactful role in the success or failure of an operation um, and even of an individual's aspirations. Um, you know, the book is deeply concerned with the role of, hi- of historical contexts and timing um, and how that plays into success. And having a set of skills that one develops um, through hard work is not on its own merely enough. You need to have the right timing and contextualize um, these different aspects in a way that will not only show you what is beneficial, but will you know ultimately work to guarantee the best outcomes. Um, so there are a variety of, of more, um, themes and, uh, important, uh, discussion points to talk about throughout this book, but, um, you know, I highly recommend it. I think that the book is a pivotal piece of nonfiction literature that, um, really is a self-help book without being too preachy. Um, the book shows you what factors enable your success and in being so shows you what you need to do and also how to look out for the factors around you that can enable and also interfere with your success. So I appreciate you listening and I hope to continue this podcast in the future. Thank you very much.